Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to show you the best dungeon skip set in the game. So what is a skip set? A skip set allows you to run through a dungeon very safely using stealth and movement speed abilities so that you can skip a dungeon floor either for safety reasons or maybe you're doing hardcore expeditions and you want to skip trash mobs to get a higher reward. Either way, a skip set and knowing how to use a skip set and what the skip set is is very valuable, especially if you want to be more stealthy. A lot of players will enter group dungeons or even solo dungeons in the black zone, and they will use their skip set to be able to effectively go to the second floor without taking hardly any damage from mobs or to escape players. With a skip set, a player cannot follow you deep into a dungeon. If, like, if I got invaded right now by a bunch of people, assuming this was a red or black zone, uh, I could just run ahead towards the mobs, and I would be completely fine. They would never be able to kill me with this set. So let's go over exactly how this build works and what it is. All right, now the cape is completely optional. It's the undead cape. This is something you want to use if you're like more in a PvP situation. It will really help out. It'll drop aggro. You won't be downed by mobs. This is like kind of like a backup guarantee of that. Now the royal cow, you're going to be using perpetual energy. So what this does is it makes your energy cost zero. And you're going to combine that with your boots. You're also going to be using the reduced energy cost passive on the helmet. Now the boots are the Spectre Shoes. So the Spectre Shoes allow you to go invisible while channeling, but every half second it takes 3% of your maximum energy. So when you combine the helmet, you don't lose any energy and you can run around invisible for quite a while. Alright, now uh, you're going to be using the cooldown reduction passive. For armor, you're going to be using Assassin Jacket for Ambush, which turns you invisible for 8 seconds. It also lets you run around, but not too far, otherwise it unstealths you. With the Quick Thinker passive, for your weapon, you're going to be using Blood Letter with the second Q ability, the second W ability, and the third passive, if you want the passive, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then finally, you're going to use a Mist Collar combined with Pork Omelet, and you'll have an invisibility potion or two just in case things go crazy, all right? So this build gives you insane cooldown reduction so that you can spam your movement abilities. So let's get started. I'm in a tier 5 static group dungeon, meaning the mobs are tier 6, and we're just going to skip this floor completely. All right, so I'm just going to charge through that, and uh, we're, we're going quick here. Now you'll notice that, you know, I am taking some damage. It's fine, but because I'm using the blood letter, I can hop away just out of the range of their attacks. And right now, if you look at my health, it's completely fine. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention or do is you can also bring cabbage soup and swap to it after you've dropped combat. Okay, that's a boss room, so I need to go this way. See, look how fast I'm already running through this dungeon, and I haven't used any of my invisibilities yet. I'm just running through normally with normal abilities. If you're in like a tier 7 or tier 8 dungeon, okay, we made it to the end. Now here, you don't want to attack the enemies because it'll lock you in combat. That way I can go to the second floor now completely safe. And there we go. We made it to the second floor. There was one boss on that floor, so it's actually really valuable that we did skip it. At this point, you could eat a cabbage soup if you don't want the pork omelet. However, another uh, option is to just swap to your healing on your jacket. Uh, because you skipped a floor, it's going to be a while before anyone even comes down here. Unless they also are using a skip set. So the way a skip set works is once you've reached the floor that you want, you would then just put on your regular combat gear. Also, a skip set does not need to be 8.3. You can use flat 4. However, for the armor, you really don't want to use flat 4. You want to use whatever tier you can afford, like maybe flat 6, 6.1, 7.1, something like that, right? Because your armor is how you it is how your defenses and health are determined, okay? So you don't want to skimp on that. You don't even you don't need 8.3 weapons or a missed collar. Don't waste money on that for your skips. Just use flat four. You just flat four everything except the armor. Okay, your armor you want to have a little bit beefier, just so you're a bit more tanky. Okay, guys. But um, you know, let's continue. This time we're gonna use some of our combos. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start you know using you know skipping around here. And uh, so I'm gonna activate my helmet and then I'm gonna activate my boots and check this out. I'm invisible. And it's costing me no mana. I can just run as long as my, uh, as long as this is, because the helmet's gonna run out and it's gonna start taking our mana, but it won't take that much. And look at that. We were able to skip all the way right here, completely safe. 
If a player was chasing us, he would aggro all these monsters and take so much damage. Then we could just walk over, invisible of course, and execute him and take his loot. Alright, let's continue skipping. Now, you'll notice my boots have like a 20 second cooldown, and that's fine. Now, let's say for whatever reason you're fighting mobs and they, they start messing you up, right? So the first thing you want to do is just press R, that's going to activate your Spectre Jacket. Now you're invisible, and now you can just walk away. You can walk away into a corner and let your health regenerate if you want. And our boots are already back, so we can activate helmet, activate boots, and it's so easy. Like, you can't use abilities while you're doing this, obviously. But, like, our mana is not going down, we're completely fine, we still have half a bar left, we can just run through all these. This, this is how you can traverse dungeons very quickly and uh, be very safe. Like, I can bring a skip set to a, a red zone or a black zone static. I'll never die. I'll never, ever die. Because I can use these, uh, these group dungeon mobs to my advantage against enemies. They will not... Like, like, here's the thing. I can run into a bunch of enemies and they'll aggro me, right? And then say the player comes in to fight. I can go invisible. Now, all of these guys that aggroed me will aggro my attacker. They will down the attacker because he, he probably won't have invisibility, and then I can execute him and take all of his loot. It's it's so simple, guys. It's it's uh, You should always bring a skip set into the red and black zones if you are doing like group dungeon stuff as a solo. Um, again, and just helmet, and then boots, and I can just walk through these monsters. I can just traverse this whole dungeon. <laughs> now, a lot of players too, like if you're doing like Roads of Avalon dungeons and stuff, the second you see a bad nameplate in your dungeon, you just swap to your skip set and run away. There are streamers, I, I don't remember their names, but they always they, they always bring a skip set with them because it's really cheap. Like, you just flat forward, just skip set. And uh, it's it's so... I don't know. It, it, it's so dang overpowered, okay, guys? And another cool thing, too. I, I just want to show this off. I've shown this off in a previous video, but I'm going to show you again the power of skip sets and static dungeon farming, okay? So in one of my previous videos, I have a map of the static dungeons, which you're going to have to search my channel. Just type like group dungeon or static dungeon, something like that. I forget the video name right now, but there are treasure boxes that you can destroy and they they have tens of thousands of silver and a lot of good items. Like there's one right here. Um, there's one right here, right here, down here in the middle, over here. Like so the you can use your skip set to just completely run ahead of everyone else doing these statics and farm the chests. If you want to just chest farm, I like this is a video idea of mine, like I can just chest farm using a skip set, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and go invisible here. And uh, you'll notice that when I went invisible, his attack did not hit me. If you, if you time your invisibility, you can become immune to damage, okay? So what I would do here is I would become uninvis bleh, uninvisible. And then I would clear these mobs and these mobs. I have videos on my channel on how to clear your static group dungeon mobs. And then I would take this chest. And then I would move on to the next one. And I don't even have to wait on my boots because I have other options for invisibility. Right? Like, I have so many movement options. I really should have waited to aggro them before dashing, but that's fine. Right? So here we go. And the, ma the, the video that I have, I mapped out all the safe spots that you can turn invisible and you'll never get a patrol on you. So I can just go invisible here, they're gonna go back to their posts, right? And then I can let my health regenerate. I've got my boots back, so I can keep going. I don't even really need to stop, right? Let's see, there we go. Now let's activate our boots because we're taking a bit of, bit of damage here. And look at this, like, I am leagues ahead. Other players, even group parties, this is one of the safety spots, so I'm going to stop here and let my cooldowns come back and my health re to regenerate. Like, say say I'm racing a party to, like, this group dungeon or this group dungeon or, or this group dungeon or this group dungeon. You, you get the point. Like, having a skip set lets you get through this really, really quickly. All right. See, look, look how fast we move. There, there's no... Master better skip set. You can argue that the double bladed staff, but the double bladed staff does not let you equip um, a uh, mist collar in your offhand. So I'm taking big damage. So I'm gonna go invisible. You notice all those axes that were flying at my face just it vanished because I vanished. And look, our health is regenerating while we're invisible because we're out of combat. It's very cool. All right. And, uh, yeah, so I've been able to traverse from the entrance to here without killing a single damn thing. 
skip sets, guys. You gotta learn to use them. Uh, I didn't even show off the invisibility potion. Um, that's like a more of an emergency, like, oh crap, I have no cooldowns and I'm about to die. Um, and then the, the, the undead cape. For those that don't know what undead cape does, I'm gonna show you right now what it does, okay? We're just gonna aggro everything, okay? This would be death, okay? Say, say a player's chasing me. This would be absolute death. Let's not stand in the circle, though. Boom. Uh, undead cape activated, and now I'm invisible for quite a while. And I'm regenerating health because I'm now out of combat, and there we go, I'm safe. The undead cape just saved my life. No other cape is going to save your life like that, okay? Now, undead capes are a little expensive, like 120000 for a tier 4 flat. But, uh, again, it's it's just so easy. It's just so easy. And there's a chest up here, and you get the point, guys. Learn to use skip sets. Hopefully this guide helped you out. I'm Swole Bindu. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure that you leave a like and a comment. When you do both of those, you got to do both. It is an algorithm cheat code. It is a YouTube combo. It's a four times multiplier. It really helps out. I do appreciate everyone that does help out. And 80% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Let's beat the official Albion Online channel. They only have 49,000 subs. I have 42,000. Come on, we can beat them, guys. Let's do this. I really do appreciate you guys helping me out. And I will see you. I try to make daily videos, so I will see you in tomorrow's video.